Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anthony Appiah. I'm chairman of the uh, Bagrin Prize jury. The Bagrin Prize for Philosophy and Culture honors not just high intellectual achievement on the one hand, and not only a world-changing impact on the other, but a person whose work demonstrates the connection between these two things. And Nicholas Bagrin has encouraged the jury from the start to look widely across the globe and across the disciplines to seek thinkers whose profound intellectual achievements have had a decisive positive impact in the everyday world outside the academy. For half a century, Ruth Bader Ginsburg has been such a thinker. Beginning with the abstract notion of equality, whose practical meaning has always been a matter of philosophical controversy, she developed a constitutional conception of equality grounded in the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment, which commands that no state shall deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. Taking a dozen or so words and using them to help shape the whole body of our laws was always bound to require intellectual imagination, conceptual sophistication, and ingenuity. For those of us who work in political philosophy, equality is a beacon, but it is also a quagmire. So it's with profound admiration that we watch a thinker who moves deftly through these swamps, escaping the quicksands and reaching safely the solid ground of practical implementation. In 1971, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, along with Mel Wolfe, inspired by the groundbreaking feminist legal work of Polly Murray and Dorothy Kenyon, wrote the successful brief for Sally Reed in Reed v. Reed, the case in which the US Supreme Court recognized for the first time that discrimination on the basis of sex was barred by the 14th Amendment. One of the many insights of that marvelous brief was that even a rationale for differential treatment purportedly respectful of women limits their freedom and so denies them equality before the law. Building on the foundation of Reed v. Reed, Justice Ginsburg led the development of the strategy for the ACLU's Women's Rights Project, constructing with her team much of the modern apparatus of gender discrimination law. In brilliantly persuasive briefs, she taught our courts through rigorous analysis how what she dubbed sex role pigeonholing, this is one of my favorite technical terms in philosophy now, could deny equal protection to men as to women. The careful analysis of abstractions is often required if we are to bring them rightly to bear in the long struggle for human dignity. The Bagruan jury selected Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg for her towering intellectual contributions to that struggle, a contribution that is now appreciated not just in this country, whose courts she has served for some six decades, but also now by women and men around the world. And so it's a great honor on behalf of the jury and the foundation to present her to you for this award.